Okay, here's the circular slide rule. The only scales on here that are uniform are the log scale. So this is a zero right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So if you go over here and go from zero to one, and I go look from zero to nine, that's equally spaced. So the way this works is a C scale. If you read a 2 over here and you put the cursor over here, the L scale is 3. Actually, that's the log, the base 10 of 2, which is 0 0.30103. Or if you go over here to 4, it's 0.6 something. So the way this works is to multiply. We're basically adding logarithms. So if you put this cursor on the 1 here, and you use the outer C scale, and say I added this to the 2 here, and I slide the larger cursor over to the lines on the 2, this reads on a 4. So 2 times 2 is 4. That's the C scale. There's an inverted C, which is here, which is just the invert. So if this is 11 or 1.1, this is the inversion, which is 9 point something. If you take 1.25 on the C scale, this is 0.8 on the CI inverted scale. It's the same as a regular linear slide rule, except it's it's long it had a longer scale because this is about eight and a quarter inches in diameter. So times say pi, which is three point one something, three point one four, one five nine. This is about twenty four inches long for the C scale. These are shorter because you got a smaller radius, and you've got the A scale here. The A scale here is for squaring. So if you put this on 2, square root of 2 is 1.414, which is up here. If I put on the C scale 9, square root of 9 is 3. What is the square root of 8? 2.8, say, 3 something. And then you have another scale over here. You got the C scale, the CI, which is inverted. A scale is for squaring, the K is for cubing. If you go over here and look at uh, the K scale, they got these different colors so you don't get too confused. There's three. There's 27, which is 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. That's the K scale. You got different colors on here because you can get really confused just like I just did. If you notice, the A scale here is for squaring. So the one next to it is for cubes. So the cube root of 27 is 3. Let's say you want to know quickly what the cube root of 20 is. It's 2.56, 2.72, say. Go here and just as a check, I when I'm on a scale and I'm not really sure, I'll go through here and check. 2 is a very good place to look at because there's 2. The invert of 2 is 0.5. 2 times 2 is 4. That's the square. There's the 8. 2 cubed is 8. And then here's the log. Log of 2 is 0.30103, so there's 